people don't tell you about moving to Canada is I feel so alone. <laughs> You and I know, say, since when did they try to colonize us for this Africa? Now only one country don't benefit us. You and I know, say, the country now Canada. 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 Well, let's listen to what this lady has to say about the same Canada. But the simple remedy for your problem is to simply buy the next available ticket down to your hometown. Come back to Nigeria. That is the simple remedy for your sickness. You know, we believe that money is everything. Money is going to make us happy. Money will make us do this. We just want to work, 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 and earn. Well, unfortunately, when some of us cross over, we kind of like see life differently. Life differently. And sometimes, uh, even with making this money, you still want to have fun. You still want to be able to keep friends. You still want to be able to keep relationships. You still even want to be able to have good sex with someone that you love. But unfortunately, there are shortage of those things out there. And even if you want to continue that lifestyle over there, <laughs> which money are you going to use and continue that lifestyle? Which money? You are there to us already. Then you are going back there to continue flex and everything. Which, which, uh, which money are you going to use to continue going to party, going to fun places and meeting people? Like people are absolutely really, really lonely over there. I'm not going to lie to you. That is why their next companion is social media. That is why you will go there and you will see everybody on social media. They do. They almost do not sleep over there. Go online. Go on live on your Instagram. You will see them. People usually tune online are people living in diaspora from Nigeria. Because they do not sleep. You will lonely walk, 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 walk no time for themselves before you know it four years five years six years and again there uh, some of them because of uh, the loneliness they do run into very uh crazy relationship with people who are not worthy to be in a relationship with them it's quite unfortunate I, I really feel a pain though but a remedy is to buy the next available ticket and then come back to nigeria you know traveling abroad is not for the weak Honestly, it's not for the weak. You really need to have this strong skin. You know, in order for you to succeed, I brought you. you really need to be an introvert. In fact, if you are not an introvert, it's going to turn you to being an introvert, staying abroad. Well, I wish all the best and I wish every other person out there who is currently going through a lot of loneliness all the best, you know. But if you are lonely too much, come down to Nigeria and come and stay with us. We want to see you. We miss you. Hmm? Come down. But then if we come down here, party everywhere, flexing everywhere, uh, a lot of uh, relationship opportunities everywhere, but no money. That is another depression. So wherever you are, make best use of the place and adapt to the system.
Honestly, wherever you are, make best use of the place and adapt to the system. Because even though you call me as well, you will see a lot of happiness, but no money to spend. Then you will go back to your room and be crying, Oh God, where am I going to get job? The same uh, <laughs> complaint all over again. So let's move past that, guys. I'll play you a video of a girl who cheated on her boyfriend. Not only cheating, you know, this woman got pregnant for another man and she was making an excuse for herself. You're wow. a loser. Wow. Am I supposed to? How am I supposed to be with you when I got these men all the time in my DMs offering me luxury cruises, mansions, all this different stuff, and then I come home to you playing video games in your underwear? It was good when we first started dating. That's seven years ago. I've grown as a person, and you haven't. I've outgrown you. Wow. So after all these years, you have to tell me that about getting pregnant by another man. We couldn't, we couldn't separate for you. We couldn't have this conversation I mean, before we happen. got to this this part. Things happen, but I had to you, find you, out you was pregnant. You weren't taking care of me. How low are you? Me. How, that's low. You were not. The bottom line is that you were not taking care of I'm me. I'm a hardworking so man. I get to another man's arms. I'm a hardworking man. I give. I, I gave you everything you asked for me. What more you want? I'm in here splitting half of these bills. You're not taking care of me. The rent is $4,000. So? A real man could pay that $4,000 and then some. I should be in the hills somewhere. You know, this this is expensive. I gotta maintain with Botox, you know, like, you don't want me looking older. I gotta take care of myself. You don't pay for that. You have all these expectations on me that you can't even provide. Real man is not. Uh, let me be completely honest with you guys. Uh, I almost do not blame that girl. Because as a man, if you're in a relationship, you are meant to observe. It's not as if you were married to the girl. No. You were in a relationship for close to seven years. So you were meant to observe the first year, second year, third year. Observe your girl and know the kind of girl you are with. I bet you this guy may have seen a lot of red flags. Red flags. But she just, he decided to ignore all the red flags. Well, as for the girl, you know, just checking her out. Look at the way she dressed. Look at her lifestyle alone will let you know that, okay, this girl is a gold digger. Hmm? And the girl had grown you. Why is it that men do not have the problem of them are growing their girlfriend? Why is it that it's only girls who have the problem of them and growing men? Yeah, because it's just general knowledge. It's, it's something that has been there for ages. During our father's time, they say, cut your coat according to your size. Cut your coat according to your size. Well, and women are actually doing that well. Men are just ignoring that particular uh, advice. Cut your coat according to your size. But women are actually following that advice. Men overlook. They don't cut their coat according to their sizes. They kind of like pick a girl from a village or from nowhere and bring up that, uh, give everything to that girl without even blinking an eye. The lady will be like, nah, she's not easy. Come on, it's not my standard. Okay. Well, it's quite unfortunate for that guy. And also quite unfortunate for the guy who got that woman pregnant. You know, it's crazy. It's so, it's so, so crazy. How can you, except if that guy, if that guy who got that woman pregnant is, una, is unaware about what that woman did. Or what that woman is doing to, or if that woman is even dating another person. Accept that. Because if that guy is aware that that guy is a douchebag, really, really a douchebag, how is that guy even convinced that that baby that the girl is carrying belongs to him? How is he even convinced? A girl is banging the two of you, and the girl just say, oh, you are the baby uh, father simply because you are the provider. 
So you are the provider automatically means your spam is stronger than the was stronger than the one who is not providing, right? <laughs> one mistake to another mistake. Well, let's move further. Let's talk about the uh, last discussion about Mobad. Firstly, uh, our female Nigeria footballer, Asisat, decided to pay Mobad a tribute after he scored two goals recently. He scored two goals twice uh, is, uh, after scoring twice against Grandana, Grandan, Granada. Well, big up to Asisat to, you know, showing solidarity to Mobad. But not just only that, we're going to discuss about Kyuta Biola. Apparently, there was a rumor that Kyuta Biola bought a car for Mobad's father. Well, I thought, when I saw the news, I was like, ah. This guy is absolutely generous. Why would you want to buy a car from Mubaz's father? What are you trying to point there by proof? What point are you trying to point out there? Well, apparently, that whole story was entirely fake. In fact, Kyuta Biola had to make a video to dispute everything about that story. Who are you people, please, for God's sake? Let me disregard, uh, let me disregard it immediately. And let me debunk it immediately. I never, ever, ever bought car for Mubad Dado, for God's sake. I have never, ever done that. Please. And I didn't even promise him a car. Talk less of saying I, I, I bought him a car. Why will you people just sit down in one place and try to create something to cause issues or to just trend? And I don't even like this type of trend. I don't like this type of class, for God's sake. For God's sake, please. Because, why? Why are you people doing this to me now? Why? Stop it. You have to confirm some things before you, you bring it to the internet. Buy a car for Mubad Dad for... I don't get. Eh? Buy a car for Mubad Dad for what? I where them my man, you keep question interview. What do you want me to buy a car for Mubad's father? Eh? What did Mubad's father do for her? Exactly. When I saw the news, I actually thought it was true. I was like, uh-uh, what point is this guy trying to prove now? This guy, what point now is he trying to prove? He, is this not something that this guy is going to make a news out of it? What point? He never bought Mubad's father a car. He never promised him to buy him any car. He was never ever aware about even buying his car. He never dreamt about buying Mubad's father's car. But the old Mubad story don't the dial. You don't the go step by step, step by step. Before you know it, nobody cares about anything that's called Mubad. But I pray get the justice that is deserved. And uh, you know, it's quite unfortunate. The dead do not talk. The dead do not talk. It's quite unfortunate. So guys, have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Catch you next time. Peace.